okay so till now we have understood all these basic concepts like what is web driver and how to download and configuring web driver in eclipse so this one we have already done and next one is web driver interface so we saw how web driver interface is going to work right and the next one is first selenium web driver code yes we have taken gmail as an application and we have executed this right and next one is installing firebug and firepath add-ons in firefox so i have just shown and we also saw how to use firebug and firepath right and next thing is whatever the example we worked with you know uh, gmail application and we have also cross checked that application working fine with firefox internet explorer chrome and also safari so all these things we have executed right and next one is handling input boxes and buttons right so just now we saw how to identify a button so to identify any object what we have done so we have opened firebug firepath and we have tried to inspect and we identified with id right so in the same way we have some set of other methods also we will see one by one right so till here we have completed right so let's see the next example which is nothing but how to handle a web list so web list is nothing but a drop down right so handle a drop down let me take a simple example right so let me take an example which is nothing but air dot irctc dot co dot in so i am just uh, navigating to irctc application air dot irctc so just click on that okay so once we land on this page i am able to see some set of drop downs here say adult drop down children infants class of travel and also airline preference here right so let me take this drop down and let's try to understand how can we handle this drop down options using selenium right so in the same way we'll just see how can we handle radio buttons how can we handle text box how how can we handle frames all, all those things so once we are proficient with all the handling handling all the web elements then we can go ahead and work with selenium framework frameworks and other third party tools as we discussed in the very beginning class right so let us see how can we handle this drop down okay so i'm going to open my firebug firepath yes fire firebug opened i am trying to inspect this particular drop down so this is the drop down right so this is what we are going to handle right now i'm just clicking on the drop down so once you, once you clicked on the drop down if you <coughs> expand this few more you are able to see some html code right and there is a html tag called select tag which is developed by the developers of air.irctc application right so that means all the drop downs internally they are using select tag right so this select tag has some attributes called class and name right so with this attributes called class or name we should be able to identify this particular drop down right and if i expand this drop down i am able to see some set of option tags here <coughs> so all these option tags are nothing but the options whatever i am able to see here say airline uh sorry jet airways right air indigo spice jet indigo co all these are the airline names which all those things we are able to see here on option tags right so if developer so next day we are going to get a new airlines means they are going to add one more option tag and that airline name will be listed here like air air asia or whatever it is right so let's try to see how can we handle this drop downs using selenium api so let me go back to selenium api okay so here we are to work with selenium api and that select okay and this selector okay so we have a class in selenium api called 
select class so let me open that to open that so just go to org.openqa.selenium.support ui okay under this under this package org.openq.selenium.support ui we have a class called select class right so just click on this select link by clicking on this link select class i am able to see more details of this class so this class is present in so and so package and if i come down i should be able to see the method summary so what are the different methods i have to work with the drop downs so deselect all deselect okay get all the options select any option by index select any option by value select by visible text so some set of methods are there here so let's try to uh, see how can we use these methods to select some option from this drop down right so let me go back to my eclipse and create a new class right so go to new and then select class so here what i am going to do is i am going to create a new class called select demo or let me take it as drop down demo so i wanted to see the demo how can i handle the drop downs here so i just clicked on main method and click on finish so i uh, yes i have created a class called drop down demo here okay remove the comment we don't need any comment here okay so let me work with any one browser okay so which is nothing but firefox by default and you know at the end we can make sure you know the selected program uh, sorry the developed program is working fine on all other browsers also or not okay so new firefox driver same thing so whatever i have done in the previous example again i'm just writing right so new firefox driver just import okay whatever the browser i have opened someone has to control which is nothing but the driver which is of type web driver just save it and import your web driver interface as well right now what we need to do so once you na open any firefox browser so we need to navigate to our test application so what is our test application this is our test application right so let me copy this test application url go back and just write just call get method using this variable driver dot get okay so just in double quotes write the url of the url of your test application yes i have written my url of the application so just by running what is going to happen a new firefox browser is going to open and it navigates to air.irctc.co.in application right so let me run and let's see whether it is going to happen or not right so yes browser firefox browser is opening and it's navigating to air.irctc.com yes right so now let's try to write develop next set of actions so once you land on this particular page what we need to do we need to identify this particular object to identify this particular object we already used some method called id in previous examples right now in this particular tag we have only two attributes one is class and one more is name and we don't have id right so but even though we don't have id also we should be able to use other attributes like name attribute or class attributes also right so let's try to see what are the different locators we have in the selenium right so to know about different locators in selenium just go to org.openqa.selenium package under this package we have a class called by class so just click on by only by okay so if you go down here we should be able to see class name is one method that means if you have the name of class yes we have a class so obviously we can select uh, the that particular object using this method or let's assume we don't have class name we have a css yes we can go ahead with css 
and if you have id you can go ahead with id and if it is a link directly you can work with link text if it is a name you can work with name right if it is a tag name you can work with tag name else xpath so there are many different ways of identifying an object right so there are many ways right so let me list what are the different ways of identifying an object identifying objects right so how to identify till now we have already discussed one way of identifying an object is id id is a method present inside by by class right so this is one way and second one we are going to use now which is nothing but name right so on this tag we have two attributes one is class and one more is name so let me take name attribute now and let me try to identify this okay so the second one is name attribute right so go back to the eclipse and try to identify this object using the name so just i'm copying the name airline preferences go back to your eclipse so just write driver dot find an element right so how i wanted to identify is using name method by dot name so as name is a method which is nothing but static method so that's the reason i'm calling class name dot method name so just pause the name here okay so once you identify that particular object what you have to do so just assign this particular object to a variable right so assign this particular object to a variable called drop down which is of type web element right so what is this means means so just web element is again a <coughs> class in java sorry in uh, selenium just import that so this will be very similar to something like this int a is equal to 10 so what does this mean is i am going to assign a value called 10 which is a simple number right so this number i am going to assign to a variable called a which is of type integer right in the same way i am going to assign some web element so this is this is a drop down so what i have done i have identified this drop down with the help of name and i am going to assign this drop down to a variable called drop down which is of type web element right so here i have assigned a number to a variable a which is of type integer in the same way one object assigned to a variable called web element right so just i am storing the uh, some this particular object inside the variable right now what i have to do is so if i wanted to start accessing the methods present in select class right so what is this so support under support support dot ui we have a class called select under this select we have some set of methods right so if you wanted to use these methods then obviously we need to create an object for this class called select class right so how to create just we need to write new select okay just created a object for new select so just import and make sure while importing there may be a chances of different you know select classes from different packages so right now we are working with selenium and we have to import a select class from selenium only org.openqa.selenium.supportui so just click on that so here i have created an object for select class so whatever the object i have created that one i am assigning to a variable called s which is of type same class okay select s is equal to new select but still it is throwing error why it is throwing error at constructor means this constructor is trying to access something so let's go back to your api and see what is the constructor of this select is going to accept right so this select constructor will accept some web element right which is nothing but a web element just go back to eclipse 
and just write your web element so this is the web element which we have identified so i am just pasting pausing it to that so what does this mean is i am going to create an object for select class for that reason i am going to use so for which select this particular drop down okay now with the help of this variable i should be able to start accessing all the methods okay now my what is my intention so once i land on this particular application i wanted to select my flight name as air india okay so how can i do manually we can uh, you know we know that we have to click on the button uh, drop down and we have to select whatever we are required right so spice jet means just click on spice jet so spice jet will be selected but through automation how can we do it so in automation also we can do this particular kind of actions in different ways three different ways we can do it so let's try to understand what are those three different ways so whatever the text you are able to see here with the help of that selecting the text you can select and the second option is values so if you look at the values of all the options we are able to see the first one is all second one is 9w third one is uk fourth one is air india ai next one is spice jet indigo is 6e and go is 68 something like that so they have given some values for each and every text or option so with the help of the uh, value also we should be able to do this right else with the help of text also we can do and along with these two options the third option is index so by default all these options will be stored with the form of index with the help of index right so for the first one will be zeroth index second index third index fourth fifth sixth and seventh right so let's try to see how can we uh, start accessing one by one so let's see how we can work with visible text okay so with the help of visible text i wanted to select air india okay go back to your eclipse just call s dot select by visible text so select by visible text is the name of the method which we have here right so what is the text air india okay so by writing only this line of code you know it is going to select air india in this particular drop down so it is going to select air india like this right so let me save it and run and see what is going to happen so as per our expectation what should happen it should open a new firefox browser for us and navigate to some application and find out this particular drop down and store it in some variable that variable is a, a passed to select and with the help of this variable s we are going to select an option called air india here okay so just save it let me run and see what is going to happen so it should open firefox browser navigate to application and select air india from the drop downs right yes opened application and navigated to air.irctc and it has identified this particular drop down and yes we are able to see air india has been selected with the help of visible text right so whatever the text you are giving this text will be matched with this particular text if both the text whatever i am giving and this is uh, you know values present inside the application if both are matching then that particular test will be going ahead without any problem right so let me give say what i will do air india just i will give some unexpected thing 1 2 3 so air india 1 2 3 is not present under this options right it's not present under this so at the at this time so let us see what is going to happen what kind of error this is going to throw so let me save it and run so let us see what it is going to happen if we are going to give some wrong values to that okay it has waited <coughs> and if you go back and see 
we are able to see some exception problem shown and what is the name of the exception is org.openqa.selenium. No such element exception. That means, hey, you are trying to identify or locate an element with the text air India 123. But in this particular page, there is no some particular text at all with air India 123. That's what it means to say. Right? So better whenever we are you know writing the text. So go to your DOM. So this is called as DOM. So go to your DOM copy the text from here okay and paste it so if you miss any small character also at that time obviously we are going to throw some error right so this is one way of selecting an option from the drop down so let us try to see what is the next option so next option is nothing but s dot select by value so we already saw there are some set of values for Jet Airways, we have 9W. For Air India, we have AI. For SpiceJet, we have OS. For Indigo, we have 6E, something like that. So with the help of value also, we are able to identify the object and select the values. Okay. So let me take for an instance, I wanted to select Go. So if I wanted to select Go with the value G8. So just I am copying the value which is nothing but G8 okay i am pausing that value here okay so by running this g8 will be selected with the help of g8 sorry go will be selected with the help of g8 option so by if i run this it should select go now okay so let's see what is going to happen right airline preferences right yes we are able to see go has been selected in previous case we have selected air india with the help of text now with the help of value we are able to select go right so we are done with the second way of identifying element so what is the third one yes dot select by index okay so what i will do just i will give index which is nothing but 1. So 1 is nothing but Jet Airways. So Jet, Air, Jet Airways should be selected. Okay, just give index, save your program and run your program. Right. So now as per our knowledge, it should select the first, in, first index value which is nothing but Jet Airways. Yes, Jet Airways has been selected without any issues. So once you selected and you are done with your testing, finally you wanted to close the browsers, right? So and uh, you know, uh, all the browsers are keep on opened. So why we need to keep on open? Just we can straight away close all the browsers. Okay, so to close all the browsers, I will use something like driver dot close method. So if I call close method automatically browser will be opened doing something actions and finally closing the browser automatically right. So if I run so it should open navigate to application find an element select an option and finally close the browser that's what going to happen now. Right it has finally closed right so this is the way how you have to select some options from the drop down so just it's a simple way so that it's easy very easy for us to understand only we have three different set of methods either you are good with you uh, know visible text you can go ahead else value go ahead else index also we can go ahead but visible text is the most preferred one because maybe after a few days this index so one kind of flight may come and another may go so or they may shuffle it jet airways may come down and go may go up right at that time it will be problem for us if we are using index or sometimes the developers may change the values of these options so at that time again we need to go to our source code and we need to edit so instead of facing some problems in future better we can go ahead if we are correct on the name of the airline preference then we can go ahead with this value right so this is the simple demo on how to handle drop downs